Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the next two issues of the Warhammer Legends collection. It's a monthly subscription from Hatchet Partworks. I think it costs about £20 a month and it's available for everyone in the UK, South Africa and Australia. It comes in this. Uh, I think this is going to be issue 40... Two and 43 or maybe 43, I can't remember. This issue came through very, very quickly within about two weeks of uh, the previous one. So maybe there was some, some kind of uh, hold up, but uh, now got it. So 43 and 44, sorry, there we go. So you've got Lords of Mars by Graham McNeil and Flight of the Eisenstein. Uh, Flight of the Eisenstein is a Horace Heresy uh, novel. Okay, so 43 and 44. Let's unwrap both of these. I think I said before, I'll probably uh, do a full collection of these, uh, you know, go through them all, uh, you know, on the desk, probably September time, I wanna say. Collection will, I think, will be almost complete by then. But, uh... Okay, so. 43 and 44, so 43, uh, Lords of Mars is uh, number 56 in the collection, and Flight of the Eisenstein is number 58. Hey, so you've got two 50s in, the, in this month's uh, package. So Lords of Mars by Graham McNeil. Um, it was first published in 2013, so it's only five years old. Uh, it will run you up at 332 pages or so. And as always, there's a, a midsection of the, the book. Um, I've been mean, meaning to, to read this book for quite a while, actually. Um, but Lords of Mars, Slora Mere Maniac, Maniac? I can't, can't pronounce that. In the 41st millennium, right there. And uh, some bit more of a backstory about the uh, Mechanicus and Cybernetica illuminations. I'm thinking that's on a ship, maybe, is it? And a tech priest, Dominus. And more of the, the first bit of the artwork uh, with Black Templars there. And more, more artwork. That looks like a, a Necron weapon though, doesn't it? Like a, definitely looks like a Necron weapon. And some John Blanche artwork there. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for the artwork. Um, so the preface is uh, pursued by vengeful Eldar, Magos Kotov's explorator Armada heads into a newly revealed area of space in search of ancient secrets. As the Adeptus Mechanicus forces and Black Templar space marines tackle the twin threats of the wrathful aliens and insurrection aboard the fleet, a greater danger reveals itself. Oh, there you go. So, that's uh, number 56. Uh, they're both a similar sort of size. Uh, so this is Flight of the Eisenstein. Um, I don't think I've got this book. Um, I'm not quite sure. But uh, this is number 58, and it was first published in 2007, so that's a good 11 years ago. Um, and it does say Horace Heresy there. It will run you at, well, a lot of spare pages there, look, but it'll run you at 309 pages. So a little bit smaller than Lords of Mars. Um, as always, the middle section, you get this art, you get this collection of artwork. Uh, the main artwork's by Neil Roberts. And it's set right here, look, in Millennium 31. Nurgle revealed, so a little bit of a backstory of Nurgle there. Illumination, so you've got John Blanche, John Gravato, or Gravato. Uh, like a computer-aided design kind of, of a Death Guard. Then you've got Rogal Dawn, who there is a, a model out now uh, for Forge World Make. Uh, more by John Blanche, some by Dan Wheaton, by John Wigley. And Neil Roberts, that's Malkador. Um, that's it for the artwork there. 
So uh, let's just read the, the preface. The Flight of the Eisenstein by James Wallow. Having witnessed the terrible massacre of Imperial forces on Istvan III, Death Guard Captain Garrow seizes a ship and sets a course to terror to warn the Emperor of Horace's treachery. But when the fleeing Eisenstein is damaged by enemy fire, it becomes stranded in the warp, the realm of the dark powers. Can Garrow and his men survive the depredations of chaos and get his warning to the Emperor before Horace's plans reach fruition. I think I have read this one, but uh, there you go. Um, looks like there's a Grey Knight spear there. And for this one, looks like, yeah, part of a Mechanicus uh, axe there. So there you go, they're the, uh, the next two issues. Um, I thought I'd bring this video out today on Monday, um, just because I, I uh, received these on Friday and uh, it's been so close since we just received the others. I, I think that was probably a week ago, not even then. I like to bring you these uh, videos out as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.